I am that I am. Hmm. Master Anna of magical service. Ah. Hmm. hmm. We're messing with John a little bit. Ah, but let's get right to it. Welcome home. Welcome home. Hmm. In our last session, we hmm. uh, we talked about the coming home. Let's just go there again right now. Remember. Deep in your memories, you all remember. Ah. The very beginning of experience. Hmm. At least as you know it. You found yourself as pure consciousness. Hmm. You didn't know anything. There wasn't anything to know. You had no experience. But you sensed yourself and you asked, Who am I? Mm. And in that instant, you found yourself, to use a human metaphor, looking in your own eyes. This mirror image, for lack of a better expression, of you. Hmm, it was just you. And this was all happening inside of you, inside of your own imagination. Hmm. And this reflection of you said, huh, my dear self, I'm going to show you who you are, who we are. Mm. And you could say it was like an explosion. <laughs> You've heard it called the wall of fire because it felt like you were suddenly shredded into all these fragments of you. They weren't really fragments. They were just different perspectives of you. Different <laughs> experiences of you. Hmm. So a part of you said, I am going to dive in to this incredible... Ah, the word picture comes to mind, but it was far beyond the picture. This whole universe of universes within your imagination all within you so I'm going to dive in I'm going to explore this hmm, this reflection of who I am so part of you dove in part of you stayed behind to oh Hold the tether, so to speak. Hold your safety line. And to collect the, the wisdom from the experiences, the essence. Hmm. We could say the knowledge, but that's a little bit too much of a... 
and province of the human mind. Oh, but it, but it's part of it. All of this experience, all of these perspectives. You went to explore it. Mm. <laughs> you created space or an illusion of space. Remember, this is all inside your imagination. And because uh, well, you created time to go with space because it was necessary. You can't have one without the other. You dove into this time-space reality. And eventually you created Earth. You had all these experiences along the way you... You felt these others. Yeah. They have no access to your own imagination, to your own creation, which is all inside of you. They have no access to that, but you could feel them. We've talked in other places about their song. And your song could interact, or other ways to say you could talk to each other. And you said, wow, look at what I'm creating here. And, and then that communication went out, and they could see through that, and they thought, oh, that's cool, and they started creating something similar. And somebody else joined in, and all of your songs started mixing and blending together and feeding back, and you started mm, creating <laughs> like their creation, and you started blending it all together into this thing you call mass consciousness. This grand experience all, all inside of you. Now, those other beings, they're not inside of you. But you create an avatar within your own imagination that, that acts hmm, as their reflection. And so, <laughs> so you have this playground, much like <laughs> your teenager's video games. Only much, much deeper. Hmm. Hmm. These video games, they're all running inside your computer. And yet, you can interact with people all around the world through this communication network. And you can see their avatars within your game. Well, this is kind of the same. So you went through all of these experiences. And now, hmm, now you come to the time where you've explored pretty much everything there is to explore. At least in this particular scenario and so hmm, you've woken up and now hmm, in your own imagination see this this part of you that stayed in the background hmm this part of you that, that is the creator, it is the imaginer. Hmm. It is, in a sense, the feminine. Hmm. 
Hmm. It is your soul, your divinity. And now, you're looking in her eyes again. Go ahead and let yourself, within your imagination, you might feel like you're making it up, but <laughs> truth is, you can't make anything up. It's all real. Because it's all you. So you're coming to her. Hmm. Her arms are open wide. Welcoming you home. Ah. But how? Huh. You've had all these experiences. So many of them you didn't understand. So many of them you felt hurt. So many of them you felt like a failure. You felt like you got it wrong. So how can you possibly come home to such a beautiful, loving, welcoming being? Hmm. That here you are, dear friend. Looking in the eyes of your own divinity. Mm. Feel the love. Feel the unconditional love. From her perspective, you were never a failure. It was just experiences. It was just showing you and her who you are. You are that too. The deepest and the darkest experiences. <laughs> They're part of who you are. And from her perspective, they're so beautiful. Such beautiful contrast. How could you know love without experiencing its opposite? How can you know the light without the dark? How can you know pleasure without the pain? Hmm. And so you brought it all. Hmm into the light, you could say. Into the consciousness, the awareness of you. All of those things, every single experience you've had in any lifetime, in any, <laughs> any other experience outside of time and space, it's all part of you. So look in your own soul's eyes and feel the love. Hmm. Part of you is afraid you'll somehow damage her or pollute her, but it's not possible. How can you pollute Consciousness. You can't. Hmm. How can you pollute the tru truest love ever was? You can't. So, look in her eyes. Feel her love. Allow yourself to accept her embrace right here, right now. 
your own imagination. It's completely real. Mm. As you do, notice how you're blending together. Notice how you're suddenly feeling the sensation of expanding, of being more than you were, as you feel her perspective and her wisdom becoming part of you. Let it happen. Allow this beautiful blending to take care, to take place. Mm. And now we say again. Welcome home. It is done. It is finished. You are home. It is done. The integration is done. There's no need for more integration. You're going to feel like it for a while because you're still getting used to each other again. Like a couple has to go apart for a time. They come back, they find out they've changed a lot during that time. And so they have to get used to each other. That's what's happening. You and your divinity are getting used to each other. But it's a done deal. The real integration has already happened. You have already come home. Hmm. He thought coming home was going somewhere, but it isn't. It's just you. And home has come to you. Right here, you're still in this body on earth you think you are. It's just a part of your your imagined experience. Now your soul is all excited because it can be here with you. No more separation. It can join into this experience with you. And it wants to, it wants to, it wants to actually experience playing this game first person for a little while with you, as you. Hmm. So once again, welcome home. Allow your own soul, your own divinity, to welcome you home. Mm. (laughs) So, we know that this getting to know each other again part is 
It's been a little bit rough lately. Hmm. So let's talk about that. How's it been for you lately? Hmm. 